Hi guys, today I wanted to talk about KZ, KZ Zex Pro headphones. The name is crazy. Uh, that I got from Ali. Uh, I got it uh, because I was very curious about this hybrid combination. It's like a monster combining a dynamic driver, electrostatic driver, which is actually electrostat driver, and balance armature. So we have three different types of drivers, <clears throat> all three of them in each of the headphones. And I was very curious about that uh, because uh, they are about $20. And uh, I always love uh, electrostatic uh, sound, this airiness, this openness, etc. So I was wondering uh, if they were successful in combining uh, all these three drivers. I don't really understand uh, why would they put uh, balanced armature here, because uh, in my opinion, Dynamic driver and electrostatic driver should cover uh, all of the frequency spectrum uh, with uh, very good quality. But here it is, we have three different types of drivers integrated into one headphone. <coughs> so, let's talk about the build quality. Uh, the build quality is all plastic, you can actually see the drivers inside. The one on the top is electrostatic driver, the big one on the bottom is dynamic driver and you can see balance armature here uh, angled like that yeah I... yes it's focusing right now okay so <clears throat> we have all of three uh, drivers inside the shell is made of uh, translucent transparent uh, dark plastic uh, there are two color options for them one is a gold one and the second one is black one i got the black one uh, this is plastic I think this is metal, though it looks like plastic, but in all of the KZ headphones that I got so far, the plates on the outside were usually metal. So let's take a look uh, what's in the box. Uh, the box is a uh, usual type uh, provided by KZ. Uh, we have a plastic cover, we have a, a shaped uh, insert for the headphones, and we have two white bags. One white bag, one white bag uh, contains uh, different types of tips for the headphones, and the other one contains the regular silver plated cable that KZ, KZ is always providing for the headphones. I wasn't opening this bag because I have plenty of KZ cables, so there was no need for that. <coughs> okay, moving that aside. Now the best, the most important bit about the sound quality. Okay, so I had really high expectations for them because lots of uh, KZ headphones that I got earlier, especially the cheap ones, were very surprising in a positive way with their sound quality. So, having all three types of drivers combined into one mighty machine, uh, electrostat driver, electrostatic driver that would be responsible for airiness, the dynamic driver that would uh, give this organic and powerful bass, and uh, balanced armature driver for god knows what, uh, probably the extreme high uh, extension, I was expecting uh, some kind of uh, giant killer. Uh, but that's not the case, sadly. <clears throat> Why? Uh, well, they are kind of veiled. Uh, the sound for them is like listening for uh, speakers that are covered uh, with some kind of blanket. Uh, like, like they would not have this uh, open airiness and uh, all the air between the instruments would be filled with some kind of wool. Um, but let's start with the bass. <clears throat> the bass is actually quite okay. It's not the best bass because it's not very precise, uh, but it's uh, powerful. Uh, it's textured, but it doesn't convey a lot of detail uh, in that uh, range of the frequency spectrum. Uh, the mids are okay, uh, just okay. Uh, I, I can't say anything good about them. Uh, they are mediocre, to be honest. Um, the one thing uh, I may point out is that to my ears they do not sound natural. There's something wrong with uh, frequency div divide. Uh, probably 
because uh, you know it's hard to uh, combine these different types of uh, drivers uh, so probably the crossover point is somewhere in the midst and that makes <clears throat> it not so very natural I mean they are okay they are mediocre uh, but uh, when you listen to these headphones you can feel that there is something strange with the voicing with the human voices but it's very hard to describe for me at least what's wrong to pinpoint exactly what's the problem uh, now for the treble and for the airiness and for the detail uh, they have good extension I can clearly hear the sounds in a very upper high end of the spectrum but they do not have airiness as I said everything sounds like it would be surrounded by some kind of wool like you would be listening to the band playing in the fog uh, so the detail is there but the detail is also covered by the fog uh, the treble as I said not very airy so all in all uh, I wouldn't recommend these uh, headphones uh, there are better ways to spend uh, your $20 especially uh, what's surprising the cheaper case of headphones uh, that are better in my opinion uh, like the ones that I've already reviewed check uh, out my other videos on the subject um, okay so what can I say positive about them the positive thing is uh, that I love one thing about the KZ company uh, they seem not to give up in search of uh, new ways uh, for headphones, new constructions, new designs. Uh, each of the headphones that I got so far have uh, has different design. Uh, it's highly personal, you may like some of them, you may hate some of them, but the thing is that they are one of few companies that are still trying to have something new on the market instead of producing one and the same model and just uh, checking the coupons uh, from the sales <clears throat> so that's what i love about them and that's why i will still buy different types of headphones just to try them out just to check if they are excellent like some of them like uh, maybe some of them will be mediocre like these ones maybe some of them will be bad that's the risk that i'm willing to take <clears throat> okay so that's it. Uh, if I forgot anything, just ask me in the comments and stay tuned for another review uh, because I also got these KZPR3, which are planar drivers. Review coming your way. Have a great day and see you next time.